Oh no. Oh no, Traurus is getting faster. Why would you make movable minecarts? Oh my goodness. Oh! oh I've broken again, Traurus. You're going to have to make a new one. I'm real sorry. Oh no. Dan here from the Dime of Minecraft. And welcome back to another Minecraft video where today we're going to be checking out another really awesome single command block creation. And today's one involves drivable minecarts, fully working elevators, and a couple more things which are super awesome and will allow you to transport yourself around your world in much cooler ways. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it because it's super cool and super awesome. Now, me and Treyos had a little bit of a falling out last time, didn't we, buddy? Ah. Yeah, because I may have built the computer inside the testing chamber over here and then it broke through the glass. So we had to fix that, didn't we? Ah. Yeah, he wasn't too happy. So don't worry, Treyos. I'm going to do this one outside. It'll be perfectly fine. Do not worry yourself. Oh, man, I got in so much trouble last time. But anyway, guys, if you haven't seen how one of these works, all you need is a simple command block, a copy and pasted command, which you will find in the description below, and a redstone power source. So let's put down the command block. Let's copy and paste our command. There we go. Click done. And then we need to apply our redstone signal and the brains behind the whole thing. Pretty much a mini computer will be built before you. It's just so amazing. Look how cool this is. It's so cool. And if you just keep an eye on your chat, just make sure you want the... This machine is fully assembled text to be there. And then you're ready to go pretty much, which I am super excited about. So go over to your computer and then right click your get items sign and you'll be given a whole inventory's worth of new objects and rules and everything will be in place to allow you to enjoy this to the max. So the first thing we're going to go over is the drivable minecarts, which I am so excited to show you. So here we go. All it takes is a single Minecraft spawn egg to spawn in the drivable minecart. And it looks like a normal minecart, but it has smoke billowing out the middle, which means the engine is on. It's not on fire. Don't worry, guys. It's not on fire. It's not going to burn you. But what you need to do is hop into it. I'll hop into third person as well just to show you how it works. And you just pretty much... Just drive around as you would in a normal car. Let's dodge between these bits as well. You just look in the direction you want to go. You don't have to hold anything else and the car will pretty much just go by itself. But it gets even better. And that is why this whole stack of emerald is over here. Because if you drive it over a block, it will just kind of hover and then die a little bit. Which I'm not going to show you. I'm going to show you something cooler than that. Which is being able to boost and fly this minecart with the use of emerald blocks. And then you can destroy them with redstone. So I'll show you how that works as well. So let's hop into the minecart and let's see if we can jump over the entire lab. Do you think it can be done? Well, it can. Look at that. We've got a boost. We are now flying through the air on our beautiful minecart. How do you like this, guys? How awesome is this? Let's just be careful we don't crash. Why is there a minecart up there? Do you see that? There's still a minecart over there. What's going on? <laughs> oh, jeez. But anyway, we are flying this thing. So all we need to do to get out of it and get it back onto the ground is shift out of it. Just jump out and it will follow you down. But how cool is that? You can actually fly a minecart, not just drive one. You can actually fly them. Look at this. Where's Treyarus? I need to show him. Treyarus, where are you, buddy? I'm flying a minecart and you're missing out. Oh, my goodness. Right. And let's get this back onto the floor. And I'll show you how to get rid of the drivable minecarts just in case you don't want it in your world anymore. All you need to do is simply drive it over a block of redstone and it will literally just explode into a few little pieces and fiery goodness will happen so there you go that is the drivable and kind of flyable minecart as well which i think is super awesome so what we're going to move on to next is the moving platform which is a really cool way to be creative in minecraft with pretty much parkour and a way to make like a platformer inside your own Minecraft world. So you need to use these platform mover blocks to create a little course. I've got one set up already here, which should work. It should work. Fingers crossed it should work. And then all you need to do is take this spawn egg and spawn it on one of the blocks. And the rest will do itself. Look. Uh, this it's kind of like a boat and a platform mixed together but you can jump on these jump from them and walk on them so that you don't fall to a pit of despair which i haven't put into today just in case i do it a little bit wrong so let's put another moving platform here and then here and then here as well and we've now got ourselves a little kind of mario course which 
Hopefully, I'm going to complete. So let's try this. Let's wait for this. Here we go. And then we can walk with it. Oh, this is quite difficult. There we go. On to the next one. Oh, no, I've fallen off. Oh, I need to try this again. Wait a second. Wait a second. I need to do this again. That wasn't fair. That wasn't fair. That was my first attempt. I haven't tried this before, so let's try it again. You have to move with the platform. There we go. Embrace the platform. Oh, geez. This is harder than it looks. Jump. There we go. Move with the platform. Jump. Yes, I made it. Oh, this one's not too hard. Jump. Jump, and I made it, yes, <laughs> yes, I made it across the parkour, so as you can see, you can be really creative with this, and make kind of like a, a Mario platform also, a Mario platform and style of map as well, which I think is really cool, I remember, this is vanilla Minecraft, so as long as you have the command activated, and this computer in the distance, you should be all good and ready to do it, now, if you want to destroy one of your platforms, say you put them in the wrong place or something, all you need to do is make it hover over a coal block, and it will it will ignore you maybe they have to be up here wait go on destroy yourself destroy yourself there we go so it has to be one block underneath and the coal will destroy it let me try it here no nope, no that didn't work here there we go. <laughs> so it will destroy it at the end. You just need to get the height right. And now we're going to move on to the elevator. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fly a minecart into the testing chamber. Let's see if this works. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. Minecart. And let's try and fly it into the top of the lab. Here we go. Here we go. Can we make it? Oh, no. No, we can't make it. We didn't make it. Look, we've crashed into the other minecart. Why is this here? I think Treyos has been testing this himself. Look, he's shying away. I know he's been up to something. But anyway, <laughs> let's go on to the elevator. Now, this is really cool. This is a way to travel between two of these blocks that you've placed down to get up and down places, pretty much, as, as you would expect an elevator to work. Now, I have set this up already, so let me get this perfectly ready. And we need to spawn the elevator on this block right here. It will spawn in a minecart with some kind of endery magic as well. And all you do is hop in, and it will start to take you to the next one which is just above your head look at this i'm now floating i'm touching nothing and then it should actually kind of just kick me out of the minecart when it hits the top there we go look at that how cool is that and if i hop into game mode zero real quick it will also cushion my fall. So say you've already come up all the way in an elevator, but you want to get back down. All you need to do is jump onto this, and it won't hurt whatsoever, which is really cool. And I just love this. This is going to be so awesome. We could use this in the lab, Treoris. This would be epic. This would be epic to use in the lab. You can get from the treasure room up to the top really, really easily. No need for a teleporter. Just use a, an elevated minecart. That's super cool and super safe as well. There we go. Right then, there is one more thing to to show you which is something called the movable block now this one is quite awesome let me just get rid of this so it's not got all these particles in the way and yeah this one is really cool too this is not as useful but more of like a, a really cool thing you can do so let's spawn it in and it seems like bedrock is stuck in your world forever but don't worry guys all you need to do is shift and push it and you can actually push this block around your world now if you combine this with the movable blocks that we looked at earlier you'll be able to make some kind of platformer and puzzle game at the same time with this movable block it reminds me of like a, a zelda puzzle almost doesn't it so you can actually like move it around make your own platforms so maybe you need to do some parkour to get across but you have to figure out the the course that you need to make or something so um there we go we can put a couple in here and then we have to move it to make the parkour easier lots of really really cool things you can make with this so yeah really really cool concept i think my favorite though is the drivable minecart i could drive this around my world for ages if only it was diamond colored that would be absolutely perfect wouldn't it but anyway guys that is pretty much the concept of movable things in minecraft including drivable minecarts elevators and moving platforms as well so if you enjoyed this and would like to check it out for yourself which i'd highly recommend because anyone can use this in vanilla minecraft 1.8 or higher then go into the description below grab yourself a command block and that command and you will be able to play around with this too. So if you enjoyed this and would like to see some more really cool vanilla Minecraft creations, then please do hit that like button. That would be super, super appreciated. And also, if this happens to be the first video seen by me, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!